ericmothethmother.com with another reminder that as much as the stock market is very confusing and from time to time we get slapped around by the markets, we have to be careful as far as we can control some of the conditions is not to underestimate the importance of looking at long-term monthly charts. For example, here we can see that CRK on this two-year weekly chart, the stock was trying to move higher but seems to have hit a wall somewhere here, let's say in the $10 price range. Since then, it's been drifting lower. That's a huge drop if you own the stock. You're talking about a 40% plus drop. That's a huge drop. So, you know, if you take a look at this, there are some things that you can look at. You know, maybe we can say there was a breakout that failed around here on the daily and all that. But there's also another view, which if you pull back and take a look at the long-term monthly chart, then it becomes evident why the stock was struggling around current levels. And here we have data going back from 1990 on the monthly. And I'm just going to draw one simple line. And the line is right there, which was the previous lows line connecting the lows here, 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 and here. Take a look at what happened once we broke below it. We drop in the 50s, 60s, and went lower. Now we are coming back after many, many months. There was an attempt in early 2017 here which was the price levels when the stock was at about, let's call it 13. It subsequently dropped as low as $4. And now we are seeing it being rejected again at the current highs. And that's why I'm saying, let's make sure that we also account for long-term monthly charts because some of these things are well-defined from a long-term perspective. So let's make sure we watch our long-term blind side. Eric Moad with mother.com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.